Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were invited to Brooklyn Beckham and Nicola Peltz's wedding, but didn't show up. New court documents claim. The couple are not thought to have known the bride and groom, but WhatsApp messages that have now been made public appear to show they were added to the guest list by Nicola's mother Claudia. The inside scoop on the showbiz wedding of last year has been unearthed as Nicola's father Nelson Peltz, 80, launched a lawsuit demanding his £132,000 deposit back from wedding planners Nicola Braggin and Ariana Gibraltar. Mr Peltz claimed he fired the pair weeks before his daughter's three-day wedding extravaganza to Brooklyn over alleged mistakes. Miss Braggin and Miss Gribalga have since hit back calling Mr Peltz a bully billionaire and filed a counterclaim for breach of contract. They're also suing bride Nicola, her mum Claudia and wedding designer Rishi Patel for damages. Hundreds of messages about the £3 million nuptials dubbed the wedding of the year have been laid bare in a 118-page lawsuit obtained by the Daily Mail. In one misspelled exchange with the daughter, Claudia asks, did Meghan get an invite to which Nicola replies, who's Meghan? Claudia responds, and Harry, suggesting that she meant the Duke of Sussex and his wife, although this hasn't been confirmed. However, many people think that Meghan is manifesting. She tried to invite herself. They couldn't have been invited to the wedding. According to Heat magazine, apparently, the Beckhams are keen to demonstrate support for the Waleses. David presented at the Earthshot Prize in Boston at the Prince of Wales's request. Seemingly, he made great efforts to show that he was on Team Wales. The Beckhams were worried that they'd been tarnished by their former association with Harry and Meghan. It was reported that Meghan and Victoria had bonded over their love of fashion. However, in 2020, there were stories that this friendship had cooled when Meghan accused Victoria of leaking stories. According to a source, the Beckhams have feared that being linked to Harry and Meghan has damaged their relationship with William and Kate and that's something they're very keen to fix. Posh was left really upset as she felt it made her look trashy and as though her and Meghan were really great friends, which they weren't. Apparently the Waleses were given invitations to Brooklyn and Nicola's wedding, which they naturally turned down, something Harry and Meghan would climb over broken glass to get. Meanwhile, Prince Harry's claim he was blocked from seeing the late Queen after the Sussexes stepped back from their roles as senior royals has been dismissed as nonsense. Paul Burrell, who worked as Princess Diana's butler, said Elizabeth II's door was always open. Mr Burrell said, I know there's a way he could have addressed all of these issues in private with his family, and for him to say there was no access to his grandmother the Queen is complete nonsense. If Harry wanted to, Harry could have walked up from Frogmore Cottage with his wife with a bunch of flowers, walked up the wooden steps that led to the dog door, up a spiral staircase onto a red carpeted corridor, turn right, right again into the Queen's sitting rooms, where she would have been. Mr Burrell accused the Duke of trying to pull the wool over people's eyes. He said, Harry's trying to pull the wool. You can't pull the wool over my eyes because I know how all of this works. The general public doesn't know how it works and they'll take your word as gospel. But there are others who know exactly how everything works. There are others whose stories have been muted, but that aren't allowed to talk because they've signed non-disclosure agreements. An official secrets act so you'll never hear the other side of the story.